Hi guys, Roman here. Welcome to another video on the meter. So in today's video, I wanted to show you how to build a basic, simple monitoring of a meter uh, using this uh, emitter top utility. So this is something I, I built to uh, kind of visualize quickly a cluster and see what's the CPU usage, how much memory it uses, how many connections uh, it has, um, things like this. Right, it's um, nothing very advanced. Right, in some other videos, we'll go and we'll um, actually uh, try to set up something uh, proper for um, production level monitoring. But, but so now, uh, for for now, let's try kind of uh, look at this at the smaller scale. What if you're developing, you're getting started? How do you even observe when my cluster is running properly um, and things like this? Right. So first, uh, let's go and start an actual cluster. So I have a, some uh, something prepared. Um, let's start three broker cluster. All right. All right. So no no magic here. Uh, I'm actually just starting three nodes. Uh, they're going to talk to each other, and. Besides the license configuration, there's nothing going on, right? And besides the uh, message storage configuration, right? Uh, you can see here that it configured monitoring sync and it sent it by default to self, right? This is a basic monitoring sync. Um, you can you can change it later on. I can later on show you how to do it, but uh, by default, it set up a self monitoring sync. So what does that mean? So basically it will emitter broker, each broker will publish stats, some stats into itself, right? So it will publish in one channel. It's a channel you can create a key uh, to and subscribe. So um, first thing to do, we need to go and uh, open up our uh, key generation. So in this case, I hit the first server. Um, and I will uh, need a, a secret uh, key as well, right? I'm not gonna do that because I already generated the key. Um, but uh, what you want to do is, you want to input your secret key. You want to have your stats channel. Like this is a default channel. It will, it will kind of uh, publish stats too. You can change this, and you want to read, right? You want to generate a key. Obviously, I need a secret key. Um, but I've already done so. So let's open up. Um, let's open up another console. And look at the key. Uh, right, so I have a, a key here. So if we go back to this etop utility, which by the way, oh, it's on my GitHub uh, calendar slash etop. Right, you can see I can set up this. So I use uh, etop key, right? The key is the key for the channel. So this is channel key. And then I specify which broker I want to uh, listen to, right? So I just hit the first broker, doesn't really matter. So what you see here is as they publish, as each broker publishes every five seconds uh, by default, um, its own stats, this gets updated, right? So you actually see every five seconds messages coming in, right? Again, this is something you can change, but this gives you basic monitoring. You have basic uptime, um, basic number of peers. So each server we have a cluster of three, so should be two peers in each, right? Um, number of connections, I actually have two connections on this one connection is basically the web page in this case, and uh, this particular tool is the second one. So memory, uh, how many go routines it's running, how many cores I have, um, the addresses, uh, the heap usage, right? Uh, and as well, we have some send and receive latencies in microseconds, I believe, right? So this is pretty much it. Um, this lets you build uh, and try different things. You can monitor a cluster. 
and more importantly because it's just a channel you actually build applications which maybe react to your cluster for example um, if you see that your CPU is spiking across the nodes you might want to create a, a trigger an auto scaling group and uh, create more nodes for um, for the broker uh, so this is pretty much it. Uh, thank you for uh, listening, and in next video we'll go we'll go and look at uh, kind of proper monitoring setup of alerts and maybe page routing data dog integration. Uh, thanks again, and please subscribe. Will help me uh, motivate myself as well to create more videos. Thank you.